Hey, I'm Oscar from the Coding Universe, and in this episode of Java Game Development, I'm going to create the selection mechanism for my Java Minecraft 2D project. So let's go right ahead to the boot class, and add a private variable called selection of type block type and set it to stone now how I want to have this set up is if I press a number on my keyboard I activate a specific block so to draw the selection we want to go to the grid.set at method call in input and replace block type stone by selection. Now in the while keyboard next loop, we're going to say if keyboard.get event key is the same as keyboard.key or keyboard.key1 grid or selection is stone. So if we press the number one key on our keyboard, the selection becomes stone. Now I can copy this and paste it three times for the two, three, and four keys as well. So two, three, and four. When we press 2, we want to select dirt. 3 would be grass, and 4 will be air. Let's see if it works. So, if all works, I should now be. Yeah, that's stone. By the way, I've. Uh, modify the stone texture so that it's a bit darker around the edges okay. now when I press 2 I select dirt and as you see I in fact have selected dirt now when I press 3 I should select grass which is also the case and when I select 4 I'll select air which is the case too okay apart from the keyboard combinations I just added I also want to have a escape key and a clear method so that when we want to clear our screen we can simply press a key and the screen screen will be reset. So let's say if keyboard dot get event key is the same as keyboard dot key C for clearing, we'll say grid dot clear. Now, I in fact have already implemented the clear method, but that shouldn't be the case. Because I shouldn't have done this. Oh, I did this before, so I'm going to do it again. Public void clear. And we'll iterate over the blocks. So int x is 0, x is smaller than blocks width minus 1, x plus plus. Or int y is 0, y is smaller than blocks. Height minus 1, y plus plus. And then here we'll do blocks x, y is new block. Block type air. x times block size. And y times block size. So now when I press the C key on my keyboard, the screen should reset itself to air. So now I'm going to press the C key, 
and the screen resets itself to air. For convenience sake, I'm also going to add functionality to the escape key. So if keyboard dot get events key is the same as keyboard dot key escape, I'll do display dot destroy and system dot exit zero. Oh yeah, that's one other thing I wanted to say. For some odd reason, if you don't call system exit zero after you've called display dot destroy, the display lingers a bit on Macintosh operating systems. So in here, I can just type system dot exit zero, and the application will cl the application will close much faster. So now when I press the escape button it closes almost immediately same goes for the escape key I'm sorry if this was not the length that you'd hope but oh well have to live with it this was Oscar from the coding universe and this was episode 12 of my Java game development series